In this video I will make a watch list that can be also used as a simple stock screener. First thing I need is a list of companies that I will put into my watch list. And there are a lot of online screeners that can help with that. Uh, and I will use Yahoo Finance one. So I will go to finance.yahoo.com, screeners, Here in the button create new screener I will make a new one so I will be filtering basically the profitable companies uh, in US so I will add here some filters for gross profit margin return on equity and uh, I can also add their net income margin and we'll also add their exchange so we know where it is traded. So when I close it I can fill in this screener my criteria. Gross, gross profit margin I want at least 60% of revenue. For a return on equity it would be great if this company can have at least 25% and net income margin 20% so we are now considering like profitable businesses that can generate some money for the stockholders and uh, I will just pick one exchange so New York Stock Exchange uh, will be enough so let's find those stocks and we have 161 results and I will take this list to Excel so I will add here all 100 rows which is maximum and just simply copy it so control C going back to Excel paste it here control V I will go to the end go back with control shift down and control shift up now I will go to the second page where remaining stocks are so I will again copy it control C control V now I have here some objects that I don't want, those checkboxes, so I will click Ctrl G, Special, and object, Objects, and this will select all those objects so I can simply delete it, press Delete. And still there are some empty rows, so I will go again to Ctrl G, go to Blanks, right click and delete entire row okay nice so now I have a list of companies that uh, I was looking for I don't need any of this data I was just looking for a list of companies okay so we have here ticker Now what I will do is just copy the ticker symbols in the new column, paste it as a value and now in data stocks I will modify the value to the stock cells. wider so few of the companies were not found directly so I will manually just change it here so Yahoo is using different tickers than it's used in Excel so sometimes it's necessary to change it manually
now as we changed it to stocks domain exchange and ticker I will make a table out of it so there are a few options you can do insert table or just press ctrl T to make a table out of it you can choose design so let's go with, uh, with the blue one and now we have some options that this uh, stocks have so I will add their industry so we know from which industry it is I will also add market capitalization this is advantage of uh, the table that it automatically fills all the columns I can also add some ratios like PE I will add uh, 52 week low, 52 week high, and uh, current price. Okay, now I will add also uh, one more column which will tell me the percentage versus the 52 weeks low. percentage and I will calculate it as a current price divided by 52 weeks low minus 1 I will just change the format here to percentage So I see how far from 52 week low price it is. I can make a few adjustments to make it wider. Okay. So now when I have here some informations, it can be refreshed when we go to data and refresh all so this stock connection basically can be refreshed every day if you want the latest information and as I said this can be used also as a screener so if I want to see what is not uh, very attractive today I will just filter 52 weeks low companies so if the 52 weeks low percentage is less than 10 percent it will show me the list here I see that I have some companies here twice so let's do one more thing here we can remove the duplicates so I click on the button here unselect all and we'll remove the duplicates where the names are the same so press OK and it removed 15 rows from my table and that was quick example how to do a simple watch list and screener in Excel if you have any questions you can write it below the video in the comments